My name is uh, Herb Parker. The piece, the sculpture we're building here has not been named yet. We're having a ceremony at six o'clock this afternoon and we'll decide on a name at that point, I think. My inspiration for this when I was, I, I made a site visit and I, I love the, the meadow and the, the view from the meadow as well as uh, several other. I mean, this place is, was, is, is full of sites that were um, just amazing vistas and, and uh, I, I, could have, I could do it dozens of pieces here that would, you know, because my, my work is site specific, so the, the site influences the uh, end product or, or what it's going to become. The meadow is, is, uh, is just an amazing view from the entrance and, and one is something that would, would um, uh, entice the viewer into the meadow and then entice him to interact in the, uh, in the space. Uh, the labyrinth form is a, is a shape I've used in the past and I, I, I like the idea of it. It's a, uh, the labyrinth is a, um, a very old symbol that, that's uh, usually associated with spiritual, uh, spiritual passage or movement, uh, as opposed to the maze, which is more of an, I think, an 18th century invention of more of an amusement. So the, 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 the labyrinth has a, a spiritual origin, and that's kind of what I, my view of nature is, tends to lean that way towards the spiritual. The inspiration for the outdoor work is usually, uh, it comes from the site itself usually, because again, it's site related or site specific. I do work, uh, I do interior sculptures also. I, I make objects. Um, my, tra my training was very traditional, or fairly traditional, and uh, so half the time I make objects, and, but uh, I like to get out of the studio and work on a large scale at least. Um, a twice, two or three times a year. It's, I'm a, I have a day job, so I, I'm not allowed to get out too much. But um, um, and to be honest, it's a lot of work, so I, I'm not sure I want to do it all the time. But it's a uh, it, it's a good um, it's refreshing to get out and, and work on a large scale in the environment uh, two or three times a year. And plus, my ideas, in order to for an idea to evolve and grow, you have to actually realize it. And drawings and maquettes or models don't really do it, you have to actually build it and see what happens. So, so. From concept to finish, uh, finished object or activity, um, it could take, uh, I've been working on this for over a year probably. I mean, uh, preliminary designs, uh, you know, site visit, um, initial uh, influence and um, uh, idea, and then refining that, um, uh, drawings, uh, evolution of the idea from point to point and drawings. So all that took six to nine months. And uh, here we've, uh, we've been here for 20, four or five days, something like that. And, uh, and th this one is different. Most of my work, when I leave, it's completely finished. Uh, this one is not. This is, um, again, I mentioned collaboration. It, we're collaboration with nature, but also in this case, a collaboration with the botanic gardens. They're um, the first one I've ever done in which other people are gonna be doing the planning. So the, the top of this, normally it's, it's, I use sod, uh, and it gets grassy and bushy and, and, and kind of grows from, from, my, from when I walk away, it, it's finished. But they'll be planting hundreds of different varieties of uh, indigenous California uh, meadow plants on top of this. And um, well, probably thousands, I guess. And they'll be changing out, I think, different seasons. So this thing should change different times of the year. Uh, and in the spring, it'll be probably flowers. And so the, it'll be an uh, ongoing evolution in the two year lifespan we're anticipating it should be um, uh, every time you come people come out here it, it, it should look different what I hope the uh, the viewer uh, gets from this uh, the outdoor work um, is the um, is a, um, a heightened sense of the environment and uh, nature and the um, collaboration between man and nature. I mean, the work is, for the most part, architectural, and it, um, uh, sometimes it has 
the form takes on more of a, it, the form is derived more from nature, uh, like this uh, sn uh, nautilus shell or snail shell or a you know, built off a logarithmic spiraling um, mathematical formula. But it, um, this one is uh, more traditional, uh, almost um, a frame architectural structure. But the, the presence inside it, when everything's growing, the roof's growing down as well as up. So you're, you're walking, uh, the structure disappears within a sh short period of time. So it looks like these trees are almost a forest above your head, a shaped forest. Uh, at least that's what we're, we're hoping uh, will take place. People will t uh, hopefully get different things from it, but I, I, I look at it as, again, uh, nature is a, um, and a, a significant part of who we are, what we are, and, and, and this puts you in the, uh, I hate to keep going back to the spiritual or reverent uh, 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 space, um, contemplative space. Um, um, uh, it's not meant as a temple so much or a, a shrine, as, but just as a more contemplative space, I suppose.